In this lecture, I would like you to focus on the concept of workspaces and how to use them. Open After Effects, and if you have the home page, you can just click on New Project if you like to, or just close it. Okay, I will just close it here, it's okay. Now, the user interface of After Effects is actually pretty easy, and you can design it the way you would like. It is composed of panels. So this is the project panel. This is the composition viewer panel. This is the timeline. And on your right here, you have what I like calling the auxiliary panels. These are panels that will help you achieve even more at a click away. On top here, you have the main menu. And then you have the toolbar just under it. This collection of panels is called a workspace. We are now in the default workspace. You can click on it to make sure you are in it and then come over and reset to save layout. Now, if you haven't done any changes and then came back and save changes to this workspace, it should look exactly like this. And it is 100% similar to CC 2018, except this small button here and another skyrocket they put here, <laughs> okay? The default workspace has a very good layout for you to have a very good workflow. Maybe we will add or remove certain panels from here. We'll see that later on. Now, new in 2019 is the Learn Workspace. Actually, it just opens the Learn panel here and you can learn a few things. You have also the Standard Workspace. The Standard Workspace is just about compatibility with the version prior to 2017. You have the small screen workspace, pretty interesting, where the auxiliary menus here are a bit larger, if you notice, and there are very few, just the necessary effects. Then you have the libraries menu. This extends the library panel for you to work on your assets from adobe.com. You have the double arrows here. If you click on them, you will have several options for other workspaces. For example, the all panels. And you notice here now you have most of the panels if you like. You have also some more specialized workspaces, such as Essential Graphics. If you enable this workspace, it will open the Essential Graphics panel just in the middle here. So you pay a lot of attention to it. And actually, it will help you create some Essential Graphics that we will see in this course. Also, you have the Color Workspace, very interesting, where also it opens the Lumetiscopes just in the middle. And then you have some other ones. The text is very interesting where it opens the character panel and the paragraph panel to enable you to work on text. So let's go back to the default and reset it. Now, you're not limited to these kind of workspaces. You can create your own space by moving the panels around and adjusting them the way you would like and closing some and opening others. And this is what we are going to see in the next lecture.